All right, so now that we have our workspace set up, the next thing we want to do is take a really quick tour, two to three minutes of how the interface for Cloud9 works. So once you've created the workspace, you should see a window that looks something like this. I did increase my font size to make it a little easier for you to read. So yours will probably look a little nicer, but otherwise they should look the same. Before we actually dive into the interface, I want to emphasize what actually happened when you created a workspace, because I think it's pretty cool. I mentioned that Cloud9 is a cloud-based developer environment. When you created that workspace, Cloud9 has a computer somewhere, a server, that made you a little bit of space just for your little developer environment and basically made you a section on a computer that's private for you. It only holds your stuff, your files. And right now, there are only two files in there, which we can see over here, hello world.html and readme.md. Those are both just automatically created. Um, the HTML file is created because we chose that HTML template. If we had chosen a Python, or let's say we chose a Ruby uh, template, we would have a hello world.rb file. But that doesn't really matter because we're gonna get rid of both of them anyway. But the idea is that there is space actually on a computer somewhere that is running all of this. It has these files on it. When we install MySQL and, and get it running, it's not actually going to be running on your machine, or in this case, on my machine. It will be running on Cloud9's machine, and this is just a browser interface for me to talk to that machine, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. So that's enough of that. Now let's take a look at the interface. We have three main sections. The first one is what I'll call the file tree. It's basically a visual representation of the contents of your workspace. So as we already talked about, there's two files there right now. As we create new files and directories or folders in this course, you'll see them pop up over here. The next area I'll call your attention to is this middle area. I'll call it the text editor. So if we open up one of these files, like readme.md, which is what is currently open, if I double click that, it opens up, as you can see here, readme.md. Don't worry if you've never heard of Markdown, that's uh, not super important at this point. But I can now go in and edit things. And if I hit save on a Mac, it's Command S. On a PC, Control S. So I can switch files to the HTML file by double clicking. And now it opens up a tab here. I can go back to that other file. I'll close out of it. Now, you don't need to know HTML, of course, for this, uh, for this class, but the point here is that we have files, we can double click, and we can see them over here. The last thing that I'll show you uh, before we move on to this bottom section is how to make a new folder or a new file. So what you can do is right click on this space right here, and you can scroll down and find new file or new folder. So let's make a new folder and I'll just call it testing. Then I can right click again and go to new file. You can also do file, new file, just like you were working in a real text editor natively on your computer. But I tend to do this here, new file, and then I can call this whatever. I'll just say hello and I'll make a txt file. Now to open it, I can double click, put whatever I want in there, now, if I switch, you see that little dot? That means it's not saved. I can go back and save it and close out. And now we have three files over here as well as a new folder. So that's pretty much all there is to the text editor area. And we'll be working with this later on when we're creating SQL files that we're writing our code in and then running all at once. Then the last section that I'll expand down here is the shell or the terminal. If you're familiar with any sort of bash shell, uh, this is exactly uh, a bash shell. And if you're not, don't panic. I'll throw up that little don't panic thing again. You don't have to know that for this course because of the way Cloud9 works. We have this visual interface for navigating our folders and files. But it definitely is not a bad idea to learn some basic terminal commands. I'll include a link to some of my favorite resources for learning that if you'd like. But again, you do not have to know how to navigate the terminal uh, to do this course. But just to show you that this is a full-fledged terminal, I can do things like ls to list 
all the files in my current directory. And you can see I have readme, hello world.html, and testing. I can change directory into testing. And now if I type ls, I get hello.txt. So I'm inside this directory. And I can do things like print working directory. Now we will be running commands from this terminal mainly to initialize MySQL as well as work with the MySQL uh, interactive shell and a whole bunch of other things. But those will be MySQL specific commands, not the general bash commands. So that's pretty much all there is to the interface at this point. We have the file tree where we can double click to view files over in the editor. We can make changes there. And then we also have the terminal down here, which we'll be working with quite a bit as well.